several of you uh, asked how to outline something so you can cut it out on the laser. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can do that with text. But if you can do it with text, you can do it with any object. So I'm going to type uh, a name there, and I'm going to come over here to text and font. I'm going to change it to some type of script font, and I'm going to hit apply. The next thing I do is I'm going to resize this a little bit bigger. And let's just go right there. And I'm going to turn off the, the actual fill. So I'm going to click in this corner. And I had to move my mouse around to get rid of that little ghost looking thing there. So I'm going to go to fill and stroke. And stroke, I'm going to turn it on so you can see my name there. And I'm going to darken it up by changing the width of the line. So now you can see that there's the name. But when I zoom in, you can see that they're not tied together, the letters. They kind of run into each other. So what I want to do is come up here and I want to hit Union. And now, if we look really close, in this case it's kind of hard to see, but the letters actually go in and they, uh, they're, they're together. Which allows me now to come up here to this path and come down to linked offset and you see this little diamond so if I hold my shift or control key down and one of the two and I'm going to try my shift key instead and now I can make an outline around my name and I'm going to grab my name and pull it out of that outline and if I want to cut this I simply click on it and change it to a red color like that actually control Z I need to change the fill or the actual outline of it to red so I'll click right here and pull this over now I need to get Fisher back inside the outline so I may want to uh, cut this out or actually raster this so I'm going to change it back to black but the outline of it I'm going to change uh, to blue and that what that will do is it'll do a deep cut around the letters so it'll deep cut around the letter but not cut them out it'll raster the letter so it looks like it's really has a depth to it and now I'm going to hold down the control key or the shift key and I got both of them highlighted and I need to align them so I come here to align and I click this button and this button and now they're right together so when I send this to the K40 Whisperer, it will, if you haven't downloaded that, you need to, um, it will actually raster my name, then it will come back and cut the line around every letter, uh, not actually cut it out, but actually make a deep raster or a deep cut, and then it will come back and actually cut the, the whole project out. And that's how you uh, actually outline an object, so anything in red when you take it to the K40 Whisper program, it will cut it right out. But it will do the other. You choose which one you want. And I'm not sure if I even have that pulled up right now. Uh, let's see. This is the program. So I'm going to open it. And you'll see that when you import it uh, into... Let me see if I can get this to come up. And I hope it opens up here. So... Let me try a different program here. And then, so when you look at this program, you're able to set the raster speed that you want. So I usually set that about 300 when I'm rastering wood. And as soon as I'm done with that, I come down and tell it to vector engrave, and that's that nice line that it puts around your letters. And I usually change that to a speed of like 50. And then when I'm ready to vector cut, I'll change that down to 5 and make sure I have my air assist on. And so each time you hit the buttons right next to it as you want those uh, projects done. And to get the file, just go to Open Design File. And the beauty about K40 Whisper is when you update over here, you just hit Save. And then when you come back over here to the program, you hit Reload Design and it'll immediately load the new image that, or the new changes that you've made. I hope that helps you out.